I didn't know anything about depression, but I was down. And to a certain extent that I just didn't really want to leave the house during certain periods, didn't want to see anyone, uh, didn't want to see teammates, didn't speak to people. And so I, I shut myself down. One of my biggest injuries was when I was playing at Coventry. I was uh, finally got into the starting 11 and uh, we played against Leeds and uh, Bridgie was uh, on the opposition side. And, and I remember that I was so excited that I, I'd broken into the side, scored a goal just before half time. And then just after I scored, I felt something go on my hamstring and I was like, oh, that doesn't feel good. Came off uh, in that game at half time. And that's when I felt my hamstring really go. It was about a year that I was actually out for. That was really tough, uh, especially not knowing exactly what was wrong with my hamstring and why it kept on breaking down was the toughest thing. The physios and the doctors at the club uh, sort of gave up. The thing that was actually uh, killing me mentally was that I was there, I was, thought I was gonna be playing again. I started training with the team and then bang, there, it would go again. I think sometimes if you have an injury and they say you're going to be out for a whole year, you can get your head around it and you set up little targets and little goals. So that's when I, I found it really tough because the um, the first few months, you, you know, you're still you're working your way towards coming back. Then after about three months, people start to forget about you. That was the first time I realised how quickly you can be forgotten once you're not playing football. Luckily, I had my wife that supported me through that tough time. Because I think if I was going home to an empty house, you know, I, I wouldn't have been able to cope properly. And, uh, you know, she kept on, you know, uh, making me believe that I was gonna get back playing again. The hardest part of football is when you can't do something that you love and that's your profession. And mentally, it plays on you. And some people actually give up. But if you get through it, I think it makes you mentally stronger because you're able to deal with you know, setbacks and you, and you overcome setbacks. The thing that I try to focus on as much as possible is that, um, yes, I'm not playing, but what can I do to actually keep on improving as a player? And that was by watching plays in my position, not only my games, it was also watching the opposition strikers, uh, watching as much football as possible because you know, it was also a way of, uh, of trying to learn as much about my position as possible. And, and I think that was a good thing for me. That, that, that kept me at least focused on when I get back, okay, I know movements, uh, I know how to lose a defender, I know how to create space for myself in the box. You know, I read the, the Tony Robbins book, Awaken the Giant Within. I was listening to his, uh, back then it was uh, CDs. That actually helped me a lot because it was a lot of positive reinforcement, there's a lot of positive thinking. Picturing, you know, when I do get back and, and play, scoring goals and actually doing really well. And because if I didn't have the, the tools of how to be positive and how to, to overcome, you know, certain situations, I don't think I probably would have. After that, through my career and even post career, I try to do that sort of thing in, in terms of have positive affirmations. And I think that was mentally, the way I got through that bad and hard period. Luckily, uh, someone found a physio for me that was in Holland, and he actually realised what had happened and why I had that injury, and, um, and I spent two weeks of intense uh, treatment with him to build up my leg again. After that, whenever I had an injury, I would actually fly him over, and he would be there for a week or two and treat me. And, um, and looked after me through my career. Uh, and that, that was probably what got me through my career, Ross. I don't know if I would have played again. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.